Nine in three, two, one, go! Qualification match number 47 gets underway. We are just shy of a half of the way through our qualification rounds. It's going to be a long afternoon here, and it's going to be a very exciting afternoon as we continue to play Rapid React here at the Pacific Northwest District Championship. Scoring clinic put on there actually by both alliances, really. Both alliances will easily clear the quintet. Eight pieces of cargo scored there in the autonomous period by that red alliance. Those teams not having the world's best day on the leaderboard so far, but they are clearly starting to dial it in and get these machines ready to go. If this match is anything to show for it, 42 to 39 your live score. Remember that our leaderboard is packed pretty tight, so it doesn't take much to do some pretty serious jumps. Just looking down there in the mid 20s where a couple of these teams are, that's about 2.8 rank points, and it just doesn't take much. 2.9 would already move you up to 17, and clearing three can move you as high as 12. So there is just so much room to move here on the leaderboard this early on. Speaking of good old-fashioned defense that we were just talking about there, bottom center of the field, there's a fair bit of that as we start to make some moveways there at the bottom of the field. Viking Robotics from Seattle clearing a path through the Red Alliance defenders in the bottom center of the field. They actually zoom all the way around the loop, the hub. No cargo loaded up in that machine. They're just trying to find their bearings. Maybe calibrate the camera a little bit, try and figure out where that robot's going. That does leave the Cyber Knights there from Red, 49-11 free to fire off whatever cargo they had in that machine. Launches its way up from the red tarmac. They'll fire off two more. They'll loop around, grab it from the Alliance wall and from the right side of the field. Put up four points for the Alliance score. Their Alliance partners the Stormbots out of Vancouver. Another solid team so far this year. Pretty reliable offensive efforts. They're able to fire from the lower tarmac there at four points at a time onto the Alliance score. It's going to bring your Alliance score actually up to 84. Red, 69. Blue, both Alliances have cleared the bonus rank point threshold. The Red Alliance has done so by literally double and counting. We've got 20 seconds left to play. 36 pieces, 37 now of cargo. Blue Alliance is trying to make up that lost cargo score in climb score. We're gonna have 1540 there for Blue Flame and Chickens out of Portland. They're ranked 24 right now. Up on the traversal. I think I might have just saw magic smoke off one of those robots. No, I didn't. Hopefully not. Looks like their alliance partner will also join them up on the traversal. A double traverse on blue. We'll have a single traverse on red coming from the Cyber Knights out of Seattle, and they'll be joined on the high run. Your final score, 121 red, 111 blue. I was just talking about how quick it is to jump up the leaderboard here. Each of those teams on the red alliance moving up anywhere from 7 to 10 ranks with those four rank points added into their average.